Hey, and welcome back to JNK Railroad and our YouTube channel. To all my subscribers so far, I want to just take a minute to say thank you. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying what's on my channel so far. I have a lot of stuff in the works coming up that I'm going to be putting on the channel, and I hope you like that too. Um, it's not a huge update. I have made a lot of progress on the layout. Um, going to let you know about some projects in the works some upcoming videos and kind of where everything stands and that's that's really it for this video so if you give me a second we'll flip around the camera and I'll show you what's going on on the workbench so not much going on on the workbench actually um, got a couple locomotives in for some LED upgrades There'll be more about that in a future how-to video. I've got this nice box car from New Haven Railroad. It is in for some cleaning and some upgrades. Another locomotive in the works. The last car I have to paint from my uh, passenger consist for J&K Railroad is right there. All the rest will go back together in the next day or two. Um, my passenger coach this guy has actually been down on the layout running around um, but he's up here for an LED light install also so it's actually gonna be two LED install how-to videos coming soon I've got one for locomotives one for passenger cars these will uh, be pretty in-depth how-to videos um, because LEDs are diodes. They don't like changing in polarity. So even though I could wire it in right now to this locomotive, it's only going to work essentially if I have the polarity right, the engine facing the right way. But um, the easiest way to install them, if you don't care, you got a red wire that goes there, or one wire that goes to the engine. One wire goes to the chassis and it'll light right up as long as you got everything set for the right polarity in the right direction. Um, so the how-to video is going to go on about how to install the LEDs into a DC locomotive or a DCC passenger car and install them without any problems. Got a new soldering iron on the way because for as old as this guy is he's starting to die. So I'm going to replace him. Uh, that's about it for going on on the workbench. I know, not that exciting. Um, next thing we got is a quick little mail call. That's about it. So after the uh, mail call, we will send you down to the lab for a short update. Not much to show down there either. But progress is progress. Here we are back on the layout. All my um, inner tracks are finally powered. Not that one. Those guys all are. My temporary switch panel is in action. <coughs> I can turn the power on and off to each of those tracks. They are also going to get a little power on LED. So it's easier to see when the power is on. Also going to notice as I scroll around the layout, I have a whole lot more buildings. Picked them up on eBay. Got a whole set of them. A few that need to repair. Very hard to tell in the video. In fact, you already personalized the theater. It now says, uh, who framed Roger Rabbit? One of the things I am presently thinking about on my layout is installing <coughs> another switch on this track 
for a tiny little secondary track over here for a, a fueling platform or a secondary maintenance platform. I haven't decided yet. Um, next step really is to actually pull all this stuff back off and, and paint the layout a green or a brown and get rid of all this pink. I haven't quite decided what color it. I'm also extending just a portion of my layout. I'm gonna get some foam and I'm actually putting a passenger station over here and some more scenery. But that's about it for the layout right now. Shut back down and shut your trap. It's time for mail call. Also going to uh, take a little idea from Eminem Rails. <gasps> yeah, there are friends and you only copy those who have good ideas. Uh, so instead of a whole mail call episode, I am going to do a little mail call segment, at least on this video. Got this guy in the mail today, just a little passenger car. Uh, other than those guys which are still in work, the other passenger cars I have are actually too big for my layout at the moment. They don't make the radiuses on my turns, um, but they will be saved to the big layout. So I wanted a older little car I could tinker with on this layout. So he will not stay like this. Probably gonna get repainted, stickers, LED lighting, etc., etc. But uh, that's my mail call. He showed up in the mail today. <laughs>